But, but, but are you, what, if you are, uh, I, I'm not sure how much you're hearing from your party. If you're hearing, do you think he can even get a ticket? Because he was speaking so confidently that I was going to get a ticket. Well, 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 but from well, well, what well. I'm hearing... Well, well, you can't hear anything because you're not a member of the party. But I'm a political yes, journalist. Yes, I know, I know. You can't and my strength area hold on, hold is on, to on, hear on, stuff on. from you, you, you politicians. You can't hear anything because you're not a member of our party. You may be deaf to some hold, of these things. You know on, why? Hold on a second. Because on. they won't tell you. Hold on a second. You okay. see, the People's Democratic Party is not like any other party in the country. We're not a confused party. The processes that we run are pretty transparent and everybody knows. You saw it in Nikiti. You saw it in Osho. The national will not be any different. What we have signed up to is that after we got the whole of the issues of the party management behind us, as Secondus, the total chairman, which is Secondus, came on board, the entire soul of our party has signed up to a process that is free, fair, transparent, and credible. And nobody is going to do anything under the table. The best you will get from our party is that they're going to pull them together and try to talk to them to prune down the numbers and get them to step down for themselves. But there is no way that our party will not go to a process that everybody can trust. Well, and, no, you are confident and, about and, the process, and, and, but the question is the confidence and, and, your principal and, 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 was, was bringing to the and, table. And, he is so confident and, and, that he will be the candidate. And, and you will have to look at all the candidates and look at the work they've done. Some of the top runners, or the ones that you can call top runners, how many of them got out of the barrel with the with bullet getting out of the barrel on time? Who has connected with the delegates the most? Who has crisscrossed the country the most? Who has the most experience? Who's come up with a plan? Who has an agenda? Look, but who are, who the, also, the party you know, itself. They will also consider the who party, had told them that I was not going to run for the president. The party itself. Would they consider the that too? The party itself. Mr. me, you're not yes, answering my. Would the they consider the also party, that, and a former pres, vice president, Atiku, had said he was not going to run for president? He has never said he would. Yeah, I have interviewed him. Yeah. I have the soundbite. You want me to play it to you? If you want. But I will play it to you so where he said know. after President Buhari won the election, he said, what is, is it, was he looking for? Yeah, because at that time he had the hope, like every other Nigerian, that probably that leadership was going to make something meaningful but for, for the someone country. who said that, do you think Nigerians should do be leading? Do you really, really think that whatever it is that was the hope of the whole of the Nigerians that voted for Buhari, you think that hope has not been betrayed? He was also do you been really, quoted, really think Mr. That, Shoumi, yes. he has also been quoted to as, say that, look, if you win the election, you spent only four years. Exactly. And he he believed he told you he said bring me a watertight document i will sign listen why is article even saying he wants to go one time anyway article is telling you he wants to go one time because he understands that it takes four years a very long time when you have the agenda clear and you have the plans right okay. if you want to restructure if you want to re create jobs, if you want to unite Nigeria, if you want to run an inclusive government, if you want to rework the security architecture to do the audits of the security that we have and figure out which one can work, you don't need more than four years. Really? Except, we've, had, we've had that before. Except, of course, that, you that, want to take like that, that, seven that, months or eight months like Buhari <laughs> to form a government. We, then we, you need a lot We've had time. that before. It will take a lot of convincing. For He has said that, look, he was not going to run. He's running. He had said that he would spend four years. It took a lot of convincing. But let me bring the APC chief in here. Uh, as it stands right now, for your party, is an Atiku Abubakar someone to fear for your party? Well, I, I've just seen the emotions, you know, displayed. We are not kids here. We know how we got to this stage where we are today. Okay. And that's what we're building. The, the structures, or the structure of Nigeria that was decimated for 16 years is what we're building. So not, nobody, no, nobody should be carried away with these emotions you know, being displayed. But it, it cannot work. It, but let me tell you, let me tell you quickly. People, they trust. We can trust him. Well, how do you mean? Because of his antecedents. You know, people, what people, what, people what follow the antecedents? No, when you were talking, I didn't Okay, true. Away. When... You see, people follow you because you can be trusted, because you care, because you know where you're going, because you are dependable, because you can stand for something. We cannot trust, trust that you could. The, he was part of the people that brought this country down. How? I mean, you need to clarify has, and has, state your evidence. He, he has been in the customs. He was the vice president for eight years. He worked with Obasanjo. And we know, we, know, we know what happened. What we happened? know what happened. Because if you say he cannot be trusted, uh, Nigerians want to know I the, said some of the evidence he can, of... He cannot be trusted. How? I speak to you, he cannot travel to the U.S. Why? 
So go and find out. I won't tell you. Is it true that I can't travel to Canada? Listen, listen. I'll take them one after no, the other. Well, well, just, I'll, I'll no, answer. because, you know, I'm still going to ask I'll, him a few more questions I'll, I'll, before, before yeah, I come I'll, to you. Yes. But is it true that I can't go to the U.S.? It is the prerogative of the United States of America to tell you that you can't travel to Canada. Yes, can't go to the U.S. Yes, it is the prerogative of the United States of America, just as it is the prerogative of every nation in the world, to grant people visas and refuse people visas based on their rules. And if you know, and if you follow the sovereignty rules of any nation, great nations don't pride themselves as to the entry visas of another country in determining the preparedness or the strength or characters of their leaders. Enough said on that. The United States of America has no issues with our princi my principal, Atiku Abubakar. I think at best, maybe they will have to come and tell us precisely what. And if somebody was to invite him, maybe the United Nations, to come and give a talk and all that, perhaps if he's in the mood, he may go. There is no requirement for us that he has to go to America. When was the last time he went to the U.S.? He, when was the last time he went to London? I'm when, asking, when, when was the last time he went to When was the last time he went to China? Because when was the last time he went to... You are not just there hearing this, there are, there me, there are that he cannot go to the U.S. Are you there just are a hundred and something nations in the world. If one nation insists that its visa rules are going to be too complicated for anybody to understand, does that invalidate that other nations that people Is visit? that the case for Mr. Atiku? It cannot be anything other than that. There's All right. No, Let's take no a moment on the that. program. And uh, we'll we take a break. And when we return, we'll be talking about the 2019 election contest, the APC, and the opposition. How will these raids pan out as they prepare for party primaries? Join us as we dissect more. <laughs>